episode, we've been battling it out to see who has the best pizza in Chicago. We've been from Warrenville to Roscoe Village to duke it out over the best deep dish and thin crust around. But I'm tired of fighting, and I think I have the perfect place to bury the hatchet. Over the last six years, we've done nearly 200 episodes and visited almost 1,000 restaurants. And there's one spot you guys have been dying for us to visit since the very beginning. It's a Chicago Pizza Institution and the perfect place to wrap this show. We're in Lincoln Park at Chicago Pizza and Oven Grinders Company. Let's go. Let's do this. Elliot is already running around here. You're a very easygoing lover. <laughs> Having a good time, I know. I'm a little scared now. <laughs> but we're here to get down to business. Okay. This is my first time at Chicago Pizza and Oven Grinder. Unbelievable. We were right out of college and it was our first job. My third day in Chicago? Maybe 1978. 28 years ago, maybe? How many people can recount a story about the first time they went to a restaurant? Thank you. That's the kind of love that's in this place. We've been here since 1972, and we're into our third generation. So people who had their first dates here are now bringing in their grandchildren. This episode is all about pizza, but you guys really do it differently. Why is Chicago pizza and oven grinders Chicago's best? It's not deep dish, it's yeah. not thin crust, it's our own little creation. We've taken two of the greatest comfort foods, a pot pie and a pizza, and we've combined it. I'm from Australia and I've never ever had anything like this. It's something really different, once in a lifetime, and there's no other city that has it. Well, I see you and I get back in the kitchen, and then I'll find Elliot around here somewhere after that. Okay, great. Okay. When making this Chicago classic, we start cheese first. This is kind of the opposite of a normal pizza. So it's an upside down, but we are then going to flip it right side up so the crust is going to be on the bottom, the cheese is going to be on the top. Aha! Aha! We stuff four whole mushrooms and ladle on some very special sauce. Our sauce is a recipe that we've been using since 1972. We put onions, green peppers, tomatoes, garlic, cooked in and simmered for eight hours. It smells fantastic. <laughs> Top off with triple raised Sicilian style dough and we're ready for the oven. OMG. Isn't it adorable? Almost too cute to eat, but I will eat it. <laughs> Elliot's been out there having way too much fun with your customers, so I'm gonna go see what he's up to and then we're gonna eat. Groovy. You know the show, you watch the show. Has it annoyed you that we haven't been here in the past? <laughs> Are you disappointed? Mm. <laughs> that seemed like a fake laugh to me. I have the app, I didn't want to squeal it to you, that's the truth. You can be honest. Maybe a little. But the fact that you guys know about it now, wow. Hungry, you do not understand. I cannot wait to eat this. That is so good. So unique. Oh my gosh. So Chicago. Gooey and cheesy. Buttery, crispy. Juicy. It's gorgeous. It's great. I love it. It's that dynamite. Sauce, though, you can get that sauce on anything. But the crust, super buttery. buttery. It's such an institution. That's why people gravitate to this place. I'm glad we were able to come together. That's the most and important agree, thing. Whether it's thin crust, deep dish, or something as unique like this, Chicago is absolutely the best. Chicago is pizza town. When it comes to pizza in Chicago, I have my own pizza pot pie in the oven. I'm pregnant! Am I gonna be an uncle? You're gonna be an uncle. Yes! <laughs>